everyone, this is Nick with Gold Coast Flooring and today I'm at a job in Carmichael and this is a duplex that I'm going to repair and clean the carpet in and right off the bat you can already see I'm dealing with polyester. That's where the couch was and that's where the feet were. Quite the difference already. Now this carpet is probably the cheapest that you could probably get. I think it goes for about, well I get it for about 50 cents a square foot which is 450 a yard which is crazy cheap but that's it's cheap for a reason and if you take a look at this these are the repairs we're doing uh, the tenant last minute just decided to glue whatever damage was there next to the transition so we're gonna cut that out patch it up and uh, get everything stretched over and tucked in and uh, we're just gonna clean two bedrooms and the living room and get this all done And here you can see I got the carpet pulled up and that's what to expect from polyester carpet, a cheap carpet in about maybe a couple months to a year. And it's pretty much like this in a lot of the areas. In these two areas, because they put glue, we'll have to patch them. But in the other areas, we were able to stretch it over. And I just wanted to do this real quick and kind of show you how it looks when you have a damaged piece like this compared to how it looks brand new. As you can see, the carpet fibers just from being walked on, they bend, they crush, they kind of, instead of being stuck straight up, they just go horizontally and just get crushed into the backing of the carpet. And that's what to expect from polyester. With nylon, it would just clean, it would spring back up, but polyester just, once it's crushed, that's it. You could nuke it with every chemical you have, scrub it with everything you have it's just never gonna restore the carpet fiber to the way it was now I'm all done with the repairs uh, basically just used my hot iron and glued it and used the seamer down now to pull up the glue into the backing and just make it really secure and then put a little bit of latex in between the carpet and the transition and that just seals the deal and this is the after result after cleaning the two bedrooms in the back Sorry the lighting's not that good, but you can kind of see what's going on. And that's the main living room after cleaning. Now because of the lighting and because this blend of carpet, you can't really notice it too well, but let me walk around the room. And if you'll notice in that back part where I showed you where the couch was and where most of the traffic was, you'll start to see the dark uh, shadow of the carpet. and. If you didn't know any better, of course, you would think it's just dirty still, and you'd say, hey, I want you to go over that again. You didn't do a good job. But that's polyester for you. I've explained it time and time again. It's worn out. It's crushed to the floor. There basically is no fiber there anymore, and that's why it looks so dark. But overall, for what it is, I think it cleaned up fairly decent. Uh, the repairs look good. The carpet's still in okay condition. I'd give it maybe about another year or two with renters um, but I would definitely suggest next time just to install nylon and get the life out of it because you may think you're saving a couple hundred bucks but in reality you're wasting thousands so again this is Nick with Gold Coast Flooring thanks for watching everyone